Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, Stan the Movie Man here with you on your WIMC.com movie review. This week you sent me to see The Purge, starring Ethan Hawke, Lena Headley, and more. It is the story of a near future where, after an economic collapse, uh, a group of leaders known as the New Founding Fathers of the United States decides the thing that will solve the economic crisis and crime and unemployment and all the rest of it is something called The Purge. It is a 12-hour period from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. where all crime is legal. That includes murder. Now, everybody can be purged with the exception of certain uh, high-ranking government leaders, of course. And uh, if you are rich, you can afford to purchase security systems. That's where James Sandon comes in, played by Ethan Hawke. James is a security system salesperson. He's very good at what he does, and uh, he is the number one salesperson. He sold the most systems in that particular quarter. So, he and his family, his wife, Mary, played by Lena Headley, his son, Charlie, played by Max Burkholder, and Zoe Sandin, played by Adelaide Kane, uh, live in a very nice house, which has recently had a huge addition put on it. He also has their top-of-the-line security system. Um, young Charlie is about 13. Zoe appears to be 15 or 16. And um, Zoe is just being a teenage girl, moody, angry, bored uh, with her family existence. But she has an older boyfriend, a boyfriend who is 18, but Dad doesn't want her seeing the 18-year-old. But he sneaks in uh, from time to time. And Charlie uh, is developing a conscience about the purge. He's thinking that it really is not the best thing but at least they're protected because their security system has these steel doors that drop down and cover all the doors and windows. Well, just as the purge is beginning, Charlie is in the observation room where they have monitors set up uh, looking out on their street with cameras mounted on the house. He sees a guy running down the street who appears to be bleeding and is begging for somebody to please let him in the house. Um, he is played by Edwin Hodge, who's, he's never, his character's never given a name. Um, Charlie decides he's going to disengage the security system and let this stranger in. Now, uh, this sort of freaks everybody out as the steel doors begin to raise on the house. At the same time, Zoe's boyfriend has told her at, he has snuck in to the house that he, uh, prior to the purge beginning, he has uh, decided he needs to talk with Zoe's dad to straighten the, their whole situation out about their relationship. All of this sort of happens at the same time, creating mass confusion. What uh, Zoe doesn't know is her boyfriend plans on killing her father. He pulls out a gun and starts shooting as... Um, Charlie is with the stranger he's let into the house, um, a, who appears to be homeless. Um, the, uh, the boyfriend starts shooting, uh, dad starts shooting back, the stranger runs off in the confusion, the boyfriend is shot, and uh, there's mass confusion in the house. By the way, the security system was rearmed by, uh, by uh, James uh, once he realized what was happening. Um, a few minutes later, some people are seen walking down the street toward the house, and they're wearing masks, and they are heavily armed with machetes and shotguns and handguns and all the rest. And uh, they tell the folks in the Sanded house that they are out on their purge, and the homeless man they've let in their home was their target. Uh, they say very derogatory things about him, and they demand that he be returned. Otherwise, they promise they will get in the house and kill everybody inside. 
Hence, your conflict is established. I went into this film really planning on hating it. Um, the whole concept of, um, you know, the rich being able to protect themselves better than the poor and the whole idea of the purge, at least on its surface, appears to be getting rid of the poor. Um, and the fact that in a prologue at the beginning of the movie, uh, it, it says that unemployment is less than 1% and crime is almost non-existent except during the purge. Um, I just, the whole concept just annoyed me. But, I'll have to say the movie won me over. Now, it's not to say the movie's perfect. There are some huge plot holes, uh, which I'm not going to get into here. Read my written review uh, when I get it up on the website uh, for, for those. But, um, uh, the film is really good at ratcheting up the tension of uh, making you, or at least me, uh, grip the arms of my chair and just tense up waiting for whatever's about to jump out of the shadows and attack this family. Uh, it did a really good job of that and as your basic thriller it does that very well. Again there are some story issues, some plot holes, some things I couldn't figure out how they were so easy to do and of course as with every sort of scary haunted house kind, it's not really a haunted house, but you know scary thriller kind of thing uh, people do stupid things that they should know better than to do. Uh, that, of course, is to propel the plot forward. However, overall, the film is really exciting. It asks some tough questions to which there are really no good answers. And I, despite myself, enjoyed it. I'm giving it four guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I'll see next time. Have any questions or comments, please, please, please send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, later, Tater!